Hey guys, Jared here from Deer Country Farm and Lawn again. The leaves are starting to fall, the temperature's changing, and the days are getting shorter, which for most of us, especially us up here in Pennsylvania in the Northeast, means that winter's on the way. It's time to start thinking about winter storage for our lawn and garden equipment. Today, we're gonna go over a couple quick tips and tricks in order to put your machine away safely for winter time, so that way come spring, you don't run into any issues. guys we're back here again uh, full disclaimer before we start this video uh, there is more recommendations that the owner's manual for most pieces of equipment will have if the equipment is stored for more than 90 days so uh, before we jump into a couple quick areas here just make sure you refer to your owner's manual for specific recommendations for timelines uh, that will give you the 100% proper storage uh, like I said today we're just gonna hit some of the main points uh, if you are doing at the bare minimum uh, this would be recommended for the bare minimum. So first thing we're going to talk about here is going to be fuel. Uh, whether it be gas or diesel, fuel is one of the most important things to make sure that over the winter time it is going to be stored correctly. So that way come springtime, uh, you don't have stale fuel, you don't have bad fuel in the system causing starting issues, clogging issues, especially for carbureted uh, motors. Uh, ethanol is in all pump gas effectively unless you can get your hands on non-ethanol gas. Uh, that is one of the leading causes of issues uh, come springtime is properly improperly stored fuel uh, that has ethanol contained in it so one of the ways you can eliminate that issue is looking into a stabilizer so for gas engines there are a handful of different ones on the market right now what you can look into uh, such as things like startron is one brand you do have other brands such as stable and also lucas uh, this is recommended to add to the fuel before storage I recommend to my customers running this year round and if you are running it year round come winter time you don't really have too much that you need to do to the machine itself uh, come winter time if you are running stabilizer year round all you need to do is make sure before you put it away for good that you are topping the tank up all the way uh, topping it off that's going to eliminate the amount of air that is in the tank itself you don't want to leave it half empty you don't want to leave it all the way empty what that will do is that will allow moisture to collect in there allowing water into the fuel system causing issues come springtime uh, such as corrosion uh, such as gumming up the carburetors uh, if you are not running stabilizer year round it is going to be recommended to pay attention to when you are going to be on your last one or two mows uh, when you know that that time is coming uh, you can always start adding this to the fuel for the recommended dosage uh, run the machine in the same process once you put it away for the winter time top that gas tank back up all the way uh, if you want to do it last minute, uh, you're basically kind of done for the year. Uh, you can do the same process here. What you do is, you know, run the machine down low on fuel. And then what you're going to do is mix a gas can with the recommended dosage, fill the tank up, run the tractor for a couple minutes. That's going to allow this to circulate through the system, uh, hitting all the main points and stabilizing your fuel for the year. Now, if you have a diesel piece of equipment, of course, that is the same deal. You want to look into something like a uh, all season treatment or a specific treatment for where you are located at. Uh, here in the Northeast, uh, a good all season treatment is recommended. Uh, you're going to be looking at this having properties such as anti gel for the winter time, also stabilizer, but also lubricants and a couple other things added into it to help out with that. Uh, fuel, like I said, is a very important part. It is one of the major uh, things I see personally come springtime uh, when people are having issues it's usually fuel related. All right guys the next thing that we're going to talk about here is battery storage over winter time. No one likes to go out the first day of spring when you're ready to use your piece of equipment go out stick the key in give it a turn and nothing happens whatsoever. Uh, so let's talk about a couple quick tips for your battery uh, so that way come springtime you're not going to run into any issues. So uh, for battery recommendations uh, there's going to be a couple different ones depending on where you're stored at. So if the mower say would be stored outside uh, or in a shed that is not heated where the temperature could easily drop below freezing, it is going to be recommended to actually remove the battery. You're going to want to remove that battery, bring it into a place like a garage or a basement, somewhere where it's not going to freeze, somewhere where it's cooler, 
but then it also too is not going to have a lot of moisture around that's going to uh, protect that battery some of the better recommendations for the battery is if you store it say inside a garage the whole unit or you bring the battery into the garage is going to be looking into something like a battery maintainer now these can be had at your local dealer or they can be had at walmart amazon there's a lot of different brands out there uh, what this does is this is going to directly hook to the battery for the storage period you're going to take uh, of course a normal plug plug it into the wall and what this is going to do is they will have a smart detection on it that will then start putting a slow trickle charge on the battery uh, these things are used for everything from atvs to boat motor or to boat batteries uh, to motorcycles as well uh, i personally use them on my motorcycles come springtime when the weather breaks i can finally turn key and get going all right so the last area that we're going to touch base with here is going to be servicing and also cleaning the machine putting it away clean uh, servicing the machine if you read the operator's manual again is recommended that the machine is going to be stored for more than 90 days uh, john deere and other equipment manufacturers out there usually will offer something like a maintenance kit for you that you can usually pick up uh, that's going to include everything that you need so things like servicing the oil system it's going to come with oil and oil filter things like servicing the air filter uh, also the spark plugs the fuel filter uh, that's going to ensure that the machine is all fresh lubricants inside of it it's ready to go come springtime uh, so that is definitely a good recommendation is if you're putting that machine away for wintertime give it a good service uh, the other part of that service is going to be making sure the machine is put away clean now that's a big part as well and it goes into a handful of different areas uh, such as you know the overall outside of the machine the engine compartment and the mower deck uh, areas like the outside of the machine of course uh, all that dirt debris that you have on that machine uh, over time will eventually start wearing things like the paint start causing fading uh, also it will start etching itself into things like the paint and the hood so you want to make sure you put that away clean uh, things like grass uh, also debris in the engine compartment uh, especially grass itself uh, when grass does dry out it does release moisture uh, your spindle areas are a big culprit of that uh, you know getting grass packed inside there when that grass starts to release that moisture it will cause problems such as uh, rusting uh, also wearing out belts uh, in the engine compartment you could be looking at wiring issues uh, you could also be looking at things like your neighborhood mice and squirrels if it's stored in a shed making nest in there and yes we have seen that before come springtime where units are put away completely dirty mice find their way in there they find it a nice cozy home for the winter time uh, and they make shop there uh, so make sure you know you're giving the machine a good servicing and making sure that you are putting it away clean uh, no matter where you store it outside inside or a shed all right guys well that's going to end our video here for today like i said make sure to refer to your operator's manual for your specific piece of equipment uh, tractors like larger garden diesel tractors all the way down to your lower lawn tractors are going to have additional recommendations in that manual that we did not cover today we wanted to cover the basics here such as fuel battery servicing and also putting it away clean at bare minimum uh, those are some of the recommendations that you would want to do come springtime uh, you don't run into any issues and can hit the yard running thank you for joining me here if you found this video useful don't forget to hit that like button down at the bottom don't forget to subscribe to our channel we're going to be putting out more tips and tricks uh, for your equipment needs here at deer country farm and lawn